Hi everybody, we will open one more booster pack of Great Legend Digimon trading card game. Booster pack 04, English, English version, which came out just recently, basically a few weeks ago, and I already have it because I pre-ordered the box and it was delivered to me from Greece. So, let us choose which Digi booster you want to open today. Okay guys, if you chose this one, we will not open this one, and uh, we will open this one, okay? If you chose the left, left one on the left corner, you chose correctly. Let's open this bad boy up. Heh, <laughs> what we will have in this booster pack I don't know but I have a good feeling about it guys there will be more many I guess there will be many cards which I would like to play in my on on with my friends and family let's flip the first card wow it's Gosukumon we had few of them but I hadn't had the chance to play with him yet but uh, with the blue deck I might uh, add him to test him out on the field Let's flip the next card. It is Skull Scorpiomon. It is, if we compare, they are pretty similar Digimons. You know, both look like some kind of uh, spiders or scorpions. This actually, well, obviously, this looks like Scorpion more. 6000 DP, play cost is 5. We had few of these before. He's pretty scary. He has three eyes, large teeth. He's from all made from bones. The artist uh, Koki did a good job capturing true essence of Skull Scorpion. You know, Skull Scorpion, just like Skull Greymon, both are made from bones. Let's see the next card. Next card is Atomic Inferno. Uh, we had this card quite a few times, but uh, let's. Its cost is only one, but let's let's read the effect again. Main effect: One of your Digimon with hybrid in its form gets plus 3000 DP, security attack plus 1, and your turn. When this Digimon is blocked, gain plus 3 memory for the turn. It's really cool and awesome Digimon card to have in your set when you plan to attack an enemy's, uh, enemy's security, uh, but the enemy has a, a blocker on his field. You can activate this card and attack his security or the blocker or anything without fear. So this is a really cool card. Flipping up. Next, Phantom Mon. Yes, Phantom Mon. We had about three Phantom Mons before, and this is the fourth one. So a purple set looks to be more complete with these four Phantom Mons. Uh, play cost seven. Did you all cost three? Ten thousand DP. I can't wait to try him out on the field. Let's flip the next card. It is Strabimon. Cool. We had um, three now, and now this is fourth Strabimon. We have to count later to, to be for to be sure. I already told you guys that he his effect before, but let's read it again. Reveal top three cards of your deck on play. Add one Digimon card with hybrid in its form and or one blue Tamer card among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. You can play, play 3 points of memory and get potentially 2, potentially guys, 2 more good cards in your hand from drawing the, from drawing the, from drawing them from deck. This card has a really good effect. Uh, about Phantom Mons, guys, I will give you a little update. Indeed, we now have five, four Phantom Mons. <laughs> this is really cool. I don't believe that anybody yet has four Phantom Mons, but just me. That's really cool. We can fill up the purple deck without a problem with four Phantom Mons now. Flipping up the next card and seeing it is a Kudumon. Do you remember, guys, that I wasn't too fond fond of the Kudumon's on play effect before, and I'm still not too fond of it now. However, some people might 
think it's still it's quite useful. It has 2000 DP and it's a rookie type Digimon. And on play, effect is you may trash the top card of your security stack to have one of your opponent's Digimon get minus 2000 DP. You should do that only in extreme emergency cases when the game play on the field, when you're battling your friends or uh, in at the tournament or with your family with Digimon cards demands it. So it's up to you how you use it. Let's flip the next card. Next card is the giant Volkdramon. Uh, this giant volcanic dragon is already third in our com in our collection. Maybe fourth, I think third. 7000 DP, play cost 7. Uh, very high play cost for uh, such low DP for an ultimate, but it's okay because he has an inherit effect security plus 1. It's common type, but it's worth to try out one in your deck on the field. Flipping up next. Raselmon. 10,000 BP. You can see this Digimon is a Mega Digimon. That's why he has, uh, she has 10,000 DP. Play cost is 10. And the Digivolution cost from Yellow Digimon is 4. I already talked about uh, this Digimon's Golden Armor earlier, and you can see it's still quite awesome to look at even now. When, Digim when Digivolving, trigger recovery, recovery plus 2. At the end of opponent's turn, trash the top card of your security stack. Mm, that's quite interesting effect. I, I have to check it out on the field to see how it works. And if it's worth to uh, play on the field this Digimon. Definitely it is worth to play him uh, for Digivolving and recovering those two uh, cards to your security. But uh, how the second effect works, we have to test it out on the field. Next up is Lotusmon. Really cool stuff, guys. We have now three Lotusmons to 12,000 DP. Play cost 11. Digivolution cost from Green Digimon is 4. All turns. When your opponent's uh, when you and, or your opponent play a level 4 uh, dig, or lower Digimon, suspend it. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But it might be quite uh, quite annoying that when you, you yourself play your uh, 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 level 4 Digimon on the field while you have this Digimon on the field and you have to suspend it. So... Um, it has to. You have to have some strategy behind it when you play this uh, mighty Digimon Lotusmon. Okay, let's put her here. Three more cards. Let's check the next one. Okay, bunch of Golemon. We had one bunch of Golemon before, maybe two, but it's still awesome card to have. Eleven thousand DP. Blocker, Mega type blocker, guys. What can be better? A Mega type blocker. You can see he's very strong. Let's put him here. Flipping the uh, this card, and it is Marin Chi uh, Chimairamon. Uh, it's it's quite uh, ghastly looking, but it's okay. Seven thousand DP play cost is seven, and the evolution cost is three. On play effect, you may return one of your other Digimons to its owner's hand to return one of your opponent's Digimon with no evolution card to its owner's hand. Pretty cool. It means you can when you have one or or I don't know even zero memory, you just play this card and you have to activate the effect of the of the effect has to go through and be completed before the enemy's turn, and you can just <laughs> put his uh, uh, Digimon back into his hands from the field, and he has to summon it again. So it's pretty useful. Can't wait to play it with it myself. And the last card is... Okay, it is another Rise Greymon. We had one more Rise Greymon before, and yeah, it's exactly this one. Uh, seven, it's super rare. 7000 DP, play cost 8. You can digital from red and yellow uh, Digimon him uh, by mem 3 memory cost. And he has nice Digi Burst with... Diggy Burst 2, and also this Digimon is also treated as yellow. And Diggy Burst effect is you may pay a red or yellow Tamer card with a play 
a red or yellow tamer card with a play cost of 4 or less from your hand without paying its memory cost just by removing two bottom Digimon Digivolution cards under this Rise Greymon. That's pretty nice. It has also a inherit effect right here guys, you can see it clearly. That's pretty cool. I'm happy we got another Rise Greymon, definitely. I don't know what we will find in next boosters, but stay tuned and we will find out together. See you guys.